Hello, and uh, welcome to a very special episode of Hearsay Diane Neal. So you all have not heard from us in a little bit of time, and a big reason as to why that is, is because the last episode that we recorded happened to be literally while Diane was in a hurricane. So um, out of respect for, <laughs> out of respect for her life, for her mother's life, um, I opted to not release the episode until I knew for sure that they were safe and I didn't want to leave you all hanging. So what we're going to do is we're going to release two episodes in one. We have the first act, which is going to be the uh, During Hurricane special. And then we have the second half, which is the Post Hurricane update. So um, get yourself a beverage. I myself am drinking the blood of a human orphan because I firmly believe in celebrating Halloween throughout the month of October. Um, you can drink whatever you want, but yes, buckle your, buckle your seatbelt, get ready, we are going. <laughs> um, so you're reporting live in Florida for Westbury Media. That's right, for my neck bundle. That's just in the like, eye of the hurricane, right? If the, if we we are let's see let's see for in the we should be in the eye wall, which is apparently going to last like two hours, which sounds terribly unpleasant. Um, because with the Cat Five wind gusts, it's not even the gust; it's sustained winds of 150 miles an hour. So Jeez. they're like, enjoy seeing your roof some other time. Yeah. Like, Mama, Mom and I figured, wow, we are we are literally like this is so dumb, Mom. We're literally right where <laughs> like we could like exactly picked. where the hurricane's gonna hit. <laughs> like, <laughs> and like think of like the thousands and thousands of tiny things that had to go like weather wise in a certain direction. You know what I mean? Like from this breeze hitting the, the hurricane here to like <laughs> just traveling over this part of Cuba but not the other part to send it directly to and the this, front yard. <laughs> never had a hurricane direct hit. Not even close in 70 years. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, I heard that. 1930 something, right? Oh, that's right. Wow. Good, good for you. Okay, we've got the. Actually, that's 90 years. Wow. All right. Oh, well, I guess it's good you guys aren't in. Because isn't it supposed to hit Fort Myers a little bit harder? Um. No, we're 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 in the sixteen foot sur surge zone. Oh wow! Oh, it is five miles south of us. Yeah, it's 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 a real bad day. <laughs> we got <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing because it's so crazy. And yeah, and mom did not do a rain dance. She swears, which is good because I think that's <laughs> called cultural appropriation these days. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys are. Did it I wouldn't class. be surprised if you're in the eye right now, just looking at the map. Um, well, so here's the problem. So that eye wall, you know, the part that's like around the is eye. Is that the fastest? That is the most destructive part of the hurricane. <sighs> and it's because it's so thick and the hurricane's moving so slowly, we're going to be in that eye wall where it's the worst. Yeah. For two hours straight. So like one and a half to two hours of 150 mile an hour winds. Wow. So it's like being a tornado, tornado for, for two hours straight. Yeah. So so if the roof does come off, what yeah. are you going to do? Just stay under the mattress? Like tr try to stay between the mattresses? <laughs> try our damnedest. <laughs> here, wait. Let me see if I can get... <laughs> no, no, no. Look, here, Mom. Look, this is... We got stuff. Look, I put, I put all this stuff... In. Don't put you on. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, Kiefer. Hold on. Look at this. We've got all kinds of crap in here. Just hang up. Let me, let me move this. This is the emergency radio. Let me just get this. So well, they've already told us that you can forget having anybody come help you. So Yeah, no, they, they just sent right. the this thing out and they were like, you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Yeah. Wait, I might be able to light us well, Mom, though. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, geez. Oh, it almost that. looks like you have actual sunlight in there. Wow. That would be amazing. 
Valve is so well, not happy about being here. It would not be amazing if we did. That means the roof's gone. <laughs> He's got an excellent point. Yeah, good point. By the way, the other day was cracking me up. Mom was like, we're cleaning out the canteens. I don't even know, like, like your old, old school, like, army canteens. And there's one, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this is mine from when I was a kid. Like, where you write your name in Sharpie, like, huge, right. like, in huge letters all over it. And it was like, like a little, yeah, yeah like, I wish. Where Not even it? like this, like this. Yeah, yeah, completely. Yeah, where you hold it like a like a stick, and it was like the best because it was like a little bit rusty. And mom mm-hmm. goes, "Mom goes, oh, a little rust never never hurt anyone." And I'm like, "Tetanus." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a shot! So hey, do you guys want it? Has hurt a lot of people. <laughs> um, um, I assume you guys are vaccinated, though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do you guys want to meet Edgar? Yes, yeah. Yeah. It's your fault for coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Edgar. Hello. Oh. <laughs> okay, lang ikaw. Hey, nice. Oh my Hello. gosh. How are you? That's mom. We're we're alive. Oh, hi mom. How are you? Something. Are you guys excited about? Hurricane. Oh my goodness! Are you, is everything okay? Uh, so far, but you know, well, we'll let you know in a couple yeah. hours. Well, you'll let you leave the <laughs> from us, or you won't. Oh my well, gosh, let's... Danny! Wait, Edgar, tell tell. I want you to tell Danny. This is like, if if we die, this is like the last transmission. Make a uh, fortune off of it. Oh my gosh, mom! Oh yeah, that yeah, great. Wait, okay, wait, this is even better. Wait, Danny, da- wait, wait, Edgar, oh. get a, get, Edgar, get your own headphones. Come on, come back here. Yeah, come on. Make it, make Edgar sit in, make him get another pair of headphones. Because you know why? I'm going to do, because if this is our last time ever on camera, where'd you go? Danny, where are you? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, you yeah. I put you on All speaker. Right. Okay, if this is it, if this is the end, I think we should do an airing of grievances. <laughs> come on. <laughs> you oh, might as well. God. Seat for Pete's sake. What? <laughs> he okay. needs a seat. Oh yeah, poor Edgar does need a seat. Mom's <laughs> mom's worried about Edgar. <laughs> oh, Come you're fine. <laughs> you're like, it was nice to see you guys, and please, please be safe. I mean, we'll, we'll do you our guys know how to swim? I think it's kind of like you know when people tell you to have a safe flight. There's so little you're in control right? of in that situation. Just, <laughs> you guys have a flotation device, like. You know how to swim. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna use her body. I'm just. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I've got enough fat that I fly. fly I'm well. so much more fat than you now. You can literally like they would they would find me until they rolled me over on the beach. They would be like, "Oh my god, a beluga made it down this far. <laughs> Belugas never come this far. They're in the Arctic. Why are the belugas like just white and blue? It's just disgusting." And then they roll me over, I and like it's like belugas. My face <laughs> in the beluga, which would be so disappointing for her. Lots of surfboards. Oh. We have lots of surfboards, but well, you know what they say: just lay down. You know, just stay still. You'll float eventually, right? That's. <laughs> I have artificial. I mean, I've never heard that actually no. before. No? <laughs> I, really? like I don't know about in a hurricane with the hurricane winds <laughs> and everything. Same concept. That, I'm not actually sure what is that. A, what's what is that advice? For? Oh, that's like for a bear. That's actually no. A bear. I think it's for like water, whitewater rafting. <laughs> oh, oh, that really? makes that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, just that just lay, yeah. you know, just stay still, and you're okay. No, I, that totally makes sense. I'm sorry. Yeah. About that. first, you're right. Yeah, first. feet first. There you go. Feet first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you guys do have life jackets, so right? No, no. <laughs> and you know what? I have, I have a bunch of this stuff, but it's like in storage, like in upstate New York, so it's useless. Oh, <laughs> like man. I, have a, I have a boat in storage in upstate. New York. <laughs> That's really handy right about now. <laughs> you, you need a submarine. <laughs> you guys will be fine. I was just talking to one of the Filipinos. They had a hurricane there like two days ago. It's category. They did. Four. They had like a crazy typhoon. Yeah, and uh, one of my friends, my coworker, she's uh, talking to her family in the Philippines, and they're like, "Yeah, everyone's telling us to evacuate, but majority of the Filipinos are still outside playing, you know, in, in, in the rain, swimming." I'm like. Take advantage of it. Yeah, it's always so hot over there. That's like one of the 
the one oh, time no. that it cools down. Oh, no. One one of uh, one of my friends siblings is like Aaron's sister in law was like I'm gonna go out and take a her a shower because she's there you go <laughs> and I'm like That's exactly what, what they did nothing right. like a little like debris and, and pelting water you'll dry off too if you you know go under the shade and just let the wind <laughs> if, you, if you make it to the eye it's like sunny and right. dry it's like a Dyson you just like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so we're pretty yeah. kitted out yeah, go pretty, so, it's good to see what? you guys oh, well it's a pleasure to talk to you and nice to meet yeah. you guys nice, nice meeting you too mom <laughs> oh, but, sorry i don't know if you guys have no, met the dog no, no, no. really make some money on this oh yeah yeah somebody should it's fine with us i'm waiting yeah, for the roof to come off any minute now no, no just kidding. if you got that live you have to send it directly to some kind of news thing and i hope I hope if that does happen, Danny, because the, if if anything, this needs to be laughed at if we're going to go the, out this way. Like, I hope I get sucked out with it and I just go, oh, the last thing you see. <laughs> you just see, <laughs> you just see <laughs> Diane just like, okay, bye. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and hang on to her feet, but my reflexes are slowed down. And yeah, I'm old. yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> just like, hang on to mom like, just in case. We're gonna get like space balls in the movie, there, just like a goes Hoover. The cat. <laughs> <laughs> by the by the way, the cat does have a life preserver, so <laughs> that's the important one. Yes. Yeah. And, right, and he is not caged, so he can get out and escape. Yes, because we, we were like, I mean, he's in the closet with us, but we're like, we're not gonna put him in his crate in case we bite it. Like, you know, Velvus will be fine. Like he'll live. Oh, uh, he'll survive. He's yeah. a survivor. All right. Well, I'm happy yeah, about being here. <laughs> All right. Bye, um, Edgar. Bye. Okay. So, Danny. Yeah. I can. Any, since we've been doing this for like the last day and a half, not like in the club, but you know, prepping. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, in the closet. For in the closet. <laughs> it's nice to see other people in the closet for once since I was for in what? it for so long, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, who knows? I just go in and out. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, am I or am I not? You'll never know. <laughs> She's a no labels kind of gal. <laughs> we had a, a meeting last Wednesday morning in the Sarasota schools and they want us to call all the kids it now. I was like, that doesn't sound right, mom. <laughs> like, you mean it. They? But it wasn't me. They. they wanted to be called. No, no. They the school board was having a difficult time and they just passed censorship down here and they were having a difficult time with some of our students and we have to call them by what they want to be called. Well, of by. course, but who and wants to said, be called? And, <laughs> and then they said, then how, what should we do about he or she? And let's decide to call them all it. <laughs> <laughs> and I, wow. I, told, I told my seventh and eighth graders, they said, no, no, no. Is <laughs> anyone like, hey, how's it, how's it going? It, you know, <laughs> it's so weird. No, we're so out of touch with reality here. But it's part of. I mean, That's they have crazy. They're just, it's all ludicrous. Yeah, yeah. And they think they're Christian. Can I show off? I want to show. So that wait, that didn't pass though, right? Like they didn't decide. No, yep, they, that's the one. No, that's it. That's done now. No, sense wow. Of yeah. No, general. I mean the it specifically thing. Well, they have it. There's just a rule for the county schools. Okay. Now, wow. I just, I just want to say this. I don't know if you you can't see. It's sheer. Hold on. Let's see if you can see any of the sheerness. I just want to say that if I go, I know I'm oh. fat right now. We'll stuff her in it. But this is like my favorite Givenchy. Oh, there you can it's see made it. out of, oh, can you see? There you go. The whole yeah, thing. nice. <laughs> velvet lace. Okay. Just that Is that one. what you're wanting to be in your yeah. casket? <laughs> so it's going to be, it's going to be a little rough to get me in there, especially if I've gone. <laughs> now, listen, last time I had to dress somebody at the funeral home, I just slipped the back of the dress. Why is she dressing people at a funeral home? <laughs> <laughs> a retired teacher. Why? <laughs> Just a hobby. Just like to go around <laughs> dress up. Hey, you got a body I can dress up? You got no. a chair I can paint? It's a good point, though. You don't need the back end covered when you're in a casket. 
<laughs> oh, so someone can cut the Givenchy like right up the back. <laughs> And, the, and then they were helping and they had Helen's slippers on backwards. And, and I, Is Helen the deceased? Yeah. And I looked yeah. down and I said, okay, Helen, I got it. I'll fix it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Helen's still bitching from beyond the brain. Very nice. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know anything about Helen. <laughs> That's a fake name. Okay. So. <laughs> to come back and get me while I'm in the middle of a hurricane. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, I was going to say, you know what I'm dying for? A little bit of news that has nothing to do with this hurricane. Will you read us some stories? Yeah, let's do it. By the way, everyone, if I haven't said so previously, uh, welcome to Hearsay. I'm your host, Neil. With me, as always, is my trusty producer, Danny. And also... <laughs> In the hurricane special, Miss Colleen Neal and uh, Velvis Danger Cat Neal. Yes, which I have to say, like, that was very clever. <laughs> I I love the fact that um, I called you to do a welfare check on your okay. landline fi- phone, and you were like, "Let's record the podcast." By the way, I gotta share. This is what the fan said. I can't because it's stretched to its capacity. Oh, that's awesome. That's what. It <laughs> like but I mean, you can't do this like there's no like you just there's no uh oh hold on uh-oh. let's see what we got Danny the glass. public safety alert okay that's it there's no there it's confirming no emergency services no one's coming to get you wow get okay real, it's a good thing it's a good thing well, about all these years of construction in med school crossing our fingers a roof doesn't come off oh my gosh seriously if the roof stays on and the storm surge stays under 17 feet you guys will be comfortable yeah like that's that's the that's the goal well you know we figure we could probably lose one or the other right we could flood because then we can go in the ceiling which we've got all sorted out or we could stay down here if the roof but like if both happen it's gonna be very precarious it's gonna be it's gonna I'm be crossing my fingers thank you hopefully if, it's scary but you you've lived through worse do- worse odds before i've lived through so <laughs> i don't know what the odds are of like like the first category five hitting your house like death like, yeah we don't <laughs> I mean, like, it doesn't matter. Plane crashes, earthquake, whatever, yeah. earthquakes, so on. It's a huge car accident. It doesn't matter. This, by the way, was not on my bucket list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As, so as, how, yeah. how did you guys decide to stay down there? Because there was nowhere to go. Oh, um, right. Mom, and I was like, hey, mom, do you want to go anywhere but there? We don't drive to D.C. See your best friend, Jana. You want to come up to New York? You can stay here. You know, um, <laughs> when I go to Colorado, visit Burton and Megan and Ava. Anything. You want to do anything? No, you got to stay in the house. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> stay in New York. She said stay in New York. But but she's never listened Daniel, to me. Daniel. Where did I get that? <laughs> Seriously, I got that right <laughs> Bobo. You see this? You see this jet <laughs> thing over here? Oh, Two again. stubborn women. <laughs> anyway, but would anyone leave their mother alone? I'm just going to leave my mom alone. Well, I, yeah, woman, get ready for the hurricane. <laughs> Do your best. <laughs> Hope you're okay. Bye. Best of luck. <laughs> I know I technically live with you right now, but uh, peace out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, that is exactly what emergency services just did. They pieced out. I know, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so I'm excited about these news stories while I drink kefir out of the bottle. <laughs> nice. Life you got to stay healthy. <laughs> you and might need to do some swimming later. Seriously, I, my, I, mom kept wanting to do stuff this morning. We were so busy. all like for, I was exhausted, right? And mm-hmm. I just, I want to nap. I'm like, mom, we're going to need our energy. We might as well just nap all day. I'm like, she's like, all this stuff on the, f-. I'm like, at some point, it doesn't even matter. We could, we could put away everything in the world. If, if the roof, <laughs> it's not really going to make much of a difference. 
I was planning for the aftermath so I'd have less stuff to clean up. Yeah, she's thinking about less stuff to clean up. And I'm like, <laughs> I took a break and played a little Buddy Holly for a while. She did. That, she's a good that's player. the way to do it, though. Plan for the aftermath. Because, you know, like, I don't know. In times like this, I'm not really religi- no, religious. No. But I feel it? like there you go. from like a spiritual perspective, like oh. it's always good to see yourself in the ideal scenario. So, well, we, we are uh, spiritual beings on a momentary earthly adventure. Yeah. So, and, and, I and got you're going to have a lot to clean afterwards. <laughs> I got all the important information. You know what that you needed to on this planet. Yeah, I got the all important information right here in my little waterproof. Oh, I thought you were talking about it. The s- beach. Thing. Never mind. I was like, oh nice. Everything. <laughs> She's like, no, I got a little thing around my neck. <laughs> Is that your Bible? Oh, no. my tiny Bible. <laughs> got my cremation already paid for, and I've got my concealed weapon license in case we. Can- <laughs> that's Watch the florida that. way that's right yeah <laughs> you're, you're living up you you're like basis. <laughs> Seriously, Danny, like we wish you would have come while you were in jacksonville um by the way did you enjoy did you enjoy your florida sojourn oh yeah you know what's funny is there was no hurricane and i was terrified of all the water because i grew up in a desert so so i kept telling all my friends i was like you just lived this close to the ocean i was like yeah. it's so scary Okay, but, um, if you survive all this and it's not just like a naked stretch of like terra firma afterwards, which it very well may be, um, you have to come visit here because the water is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, wait, hold on, hold on, let's see. From Jeremy, 18 foot surge would be up to the roof. Our second floor is at 11 feet. Dan is at 14. Should be just a little less powerful in the Cape. Oh, for F's sake. Well, he's out in front of Gordon. Yeah. Um, <laughs> should we put surfboards in the roof? I have one in the roof. No, we put the one surfboard in there, but we did like the little guy. Like we put my like my fifty-two inch fun board. You can't get him up there. Yeah, we can, I can get him up there. I'll just slide it up there and then huck it. There's nowhere to put it. You couldn't get it in or out. I, I don't. You don't think so? All right. Okay. Sorry. That's our surfboard. All right. Talk. That's like I mean, your, I, that would be like your flotation devices. I'll take you in the ocean if you come. The ocean is beautiful here. I've heard it's much nicer on the west side than the because east side, hard. right? It's just like a glassy, beautiful see through. Yeah. 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 We were almost going to go to Clearwater, but um, changed our minds last minute. So. Well, you have plenty of time. Yeah. Okay, so news. Yeah, news. Um, Arm really fast. Well, so the <laughs> the U.S. embassy warns Americans to leave Russia, which I'm surprised that that how? hadn't yeah, happened like, sooner. Why didn't that happen? When? How are we like what nine months into the Ukrainian? Why, like, did, why didn't that happen? <laughs> yeah, why didn't that happen in '92? Why like right. taking a long time? How many how many like Putin critics have to die before they finally say, "Hey, uh, probably not a good idea to be hey, in Mom, Russia." Did you pack our Novichok <laughs> umbrella with some pellets in it? We could we could load it up. Long <laughs> <laughs> die umbrella tip Russian <laughs> style. That's right, Russian style. <laughs> there was like I don't know if you know the reference. There was like a very random assassination. Oh um, yeah, yeah. With the Novichok, they, they literally put in the umbrella tip in these tiny little pellets. There's actually yeah, that's crazy. Oh. Yeah, there've been tons, but like that one was the one everyone was like, "What?" That was in the UK, right? No, that was the first one. Hi everyone, welcome to Hearsay. I'm Diane Neal, and with me, as always, is my trusty co-host Danny. Hi, Danny. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> it's going all right. By the way, this is like our multiple failed attempt at starting this. So if you see Danny's eyes darting around, it's because he's looking for something to go wrong on the, on the application. Yeah. Okay. So I should say, when last you left us, this was this was almost two weeks ago. Tomorrow will be two weeks. Um, 
I believe mom and I were in the closet and the power just cut off. Yep. Yeah. And that was. I was despondent and didn't know how to handle the situation. I'm sorry about that. It is it <laughs> is as we enter the hurricane eye wall that we were then in for the next uh, 16 hours straight. Never got the eye, just the wall. And mm-hmm. um, as I'm going to. So, by the way, as if you can't tell, Danny and I are rather depleted or exhausted, <laughs> much like his batteries. And we are, <laughs> we are both laying in bed <laughs> yep. because, you know, there are times you just can't. And yeah, I feel as good as I look, Danny, which is not good. <laughs> but I actually think you look fabulous today. That's for the incredibly record. kind. Um, you're very kind. You, you no, look, you look, look great. Here. I'll just, I'll release the, the lighting is nice and soft. Like okay. There you go. You look relaxed. Hair, you know, yeah. yeah, I'm feeling pretty relaxed. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> as, as many people know, I I've lived through quite a staggering number of disasters, both natural and man-made. I am going to put riding out a hurricane <laughs> of that <laughs> magnitude <laughs> That it was like a direct, we were literally in like the worst part of it for that. The easily the most stressful 60. I do not recommend it. I'm just saying I don't recommend it. It was, it was horrible. Uh, it was, you saw that space we were in. So mom and I were in there with like double mattresses so we could put one on top of this. We needed. And I have to specify because everyone's like, you're the different that stayed there. It's like, okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> Number one, we were not in an evacuation zone. Granted the house is 50 feet from a mandatory evacuation zone, but like we were not in the evacuation zone. And, um, you know, I love I, I love my mom, but I could not get her to go elsewhere. And um, yeah, not gonna not gonna let the lady ride it out on her own. It's not Your nice. Your mom's pretty hardcore. She's incredibly hardcore. Oh yeah. <laughs> she- <laughs> so we have had um, in the intervening weeks. It is a disaster area. I know that sounds like obvious, but it's so much crazier than you think. Every, so like the neighborhood is full of like magnolia trees. Like if I had the energy, maybe next episode, cause I bet it'll still be for crap. Uh, I'll take everyone on a disaster tour cause it's genuinely crazy. Every, we were in that closet and it was like being in an F2 tornado For that long, I got to hand it to Velvis, who really just handled it like a champ. Uh, I did a lot of nodding off, which is very surprising. And then you you get, well, because it was like all night long. I guess that's why I was nodding off. And this horrible freight train sound would just be punctuated every now and again with the sound of like a massive tree being sucked out of the ground and hitting the house. Like... (laughs) <laughs> it was nuts yeah i i don't know how or i don't understand how anyone could make it through that kind of stressful event um i, I need honestly, counseling already right and then <laughs> just add to it i i don't i can't I, like i shouldn't say it i don't mean it this way because i'm not trying to diminish all the people that did lose their lives but i cannot believe more people didn't die like when you see the devastation it is, yeah. and the amount of people in the neighborhood. So we lost a bunch of the roof, flooded a little, but like a lot of other people in the neighborhood, they flooded a ton and their roofs got sucked off or their roofs caved in. And by the way, with that amount of like wood flying around at, you know, 120, 150 miles an hour, I honest, I genuinely don't understand how more people were not impaled. Yeah, that's insane. Um, so also, like, I can only imagine how stressful it was for you. But um, it was kind of interesting because I think I was the last person to have communication with you, you before were, you definitely, lost all, definitely all contact with the outside <laughs> world. 
so then I kind of had like this sense of responsibility. Like I had to be the one to like oh make sure God, you were like, going to be okay. And if we died, you would have had like that last video. <laughs> Sorry, Danny. <laughs> so, so I was like, I was like, okay, I'm putting everything else on hold to watch the news. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's <laughs> no, a you're lot all of good. I should have put on you, man. I'm sorry. No, on it. Honestly, I was like, it was a good. Um, it was a good time for me to exercise my self soothing and my, just my faith, because you don't necessarily have to be a religious person to be no. a person of faith, right? Yeah. And and I say that a lot, like. I like to say that I'm the kind of person where I think everything's going to be all right in the end. But to be honest, I was like, even if Diane dies, <laughs> everything's going to be all right in the end. Everything's going to be all right. Diane's going to get sucked out to space. <laughs> Seriously, I think the last thing mom and I said were like, make money off this, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I could have sworn I saw the roof come off in the video. I was like, no. Oh my, it was, it was so crazy. And then for days, like just nothing. Like, like, thank goodness cell service was like the first thing that came back. I think that was like three or four days later. And it was hilarious. Okay. So for all the people, so for decades, my mom and dad were on my cell phone plan. Right. And they had like their fancy, they never used these things. They're like, Oh, we don't want to cost you any more money. It's, they stopped him. And you know those ads uh, on like old people news channels for consumer cellular mm-hmm. cell phones? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mom's POS consumer cellular flip phone was like <laughs> the old. So any anybody in the neighborhood and like of retirees that had a consumer cellular flip phone, fine. These things were being passed around like joints from like neighbor to neighbor. So everybody could check up on other people. Like nothing else worked. All like I can nothing. say is thank God it's Florida. And right. There are enough old people that there's enough <laughs> consumer cellular. And then when cell service finally came back, I don't know. I think when we spoke, I had to, you had to hoof it. Right. Cause like everything was impassable and there's like this bridge that goes over to the key and so, like, everyone could get, like, a half a bar. Like, if you went to the top of the bridge, like, so the top of the bridge was just, like, covered in people who would, like, walk there. It was, um, it was wild. A lot of it, the, the jungle parts of, that are very close by, it looks like a vacuum sucked all the greenery off everything. So, like, the forest is just naked. Wow. It's just, oh my gosh. It's everything about it is so weird. So, all these poor displaced animals. So, we've got like a real, honest to God, gator situation now. (laughs) 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 I remember, I remember you guys telling me, you're like, don't worry, we're 17 feet above sea level. And then the news is like, expecting a storm surge of up to 20 feet. And I was like, oh no, like it's so close. Did you guys have any flooding? Did you have any like We major... We did. No, yeah. we did. And there was this, there was this insane moment where like we'd only leave the interior closet. And so we had like the hurricane shutters up and everything. And mostly mm-hmm. they're metal, but there's, you have a couple that have like a little clear kind of panel that you can kind of see what's going on, but it's, it's translucent. Mm-hmm. It's not transparent. And mm. anytime it sounded like a freight train in the closet, you came out of the closet. It was like mother of all the, t- it was deafening. And then, so like, if you're trying to go to the bath, just you're like, okay, just don't die. Like the five seconds you're in the bathroom. Right. Um, I made the crazy decision that like on one bathroom trip, I'm like, I'm going to look through the peephole at the front of the house. Like, Oh my God. <laughs> Before it got completely dark. Uh And it was like waves crashing. Like, so the way the wind was whipping. Yeah. So the way the wind was whipping is whipping everything the opposite direction. So the houses across the street, there were like waves up against their garages and doors and stuff. Oh my God. So like the back of our house took the brunt and the front of their house took the brunt of the wind. And uh, so I'm, uh-huh. I'm, I'm watching this, these waves, waves like hit against the house. And I knew they were not home. Like they're part-timers down mm-hmm. here. 
and saw their front door get sucked off the hinges and just boop. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my this God. is what I get out of my, get away from my front door. <laughs> Don't go to him to wow. talk to me. That's it was insane. Nuts. It was nuts. And then, you yeah. know, like all, all hurricanes, it's just like cleaning up is a full-time gig. And it was, yeah. and we were without services forever, forever. And yeah. So, it was days before we heard back from you. Yeah. And then, and that cell was the first thing we got back. And then we still didn't have any water and we still didn't have any power. And there was something insanely beautiful. I mean, it was okay. I'm not going to lie. It was so terrifying. Lots of it was terrifying. So for almost a week afterwards, there were, there's no, so we had no idea what had happened to anyone else. Like for days, mm. we had no idea what had happened in Fort Myers or just to the South of us with like San, Sanibel Island, just getting wiped off the planet. You know, like we had no right. idea and you couldn't get a hold of anything. You couldn't load a page. So like, there was just no news of any kind, except what people were passing on to each other. Like that's how I found about the bridge It's like, someone's like, someone went over to the Minnesota bridge. Like, really? Yeah. They got half a bar, you know, like, all right. You know, like, like that's like, that was the only way information was being passed. So everyone was kind of living yeah. in their driveway. Mm. Uh, I can't, with all the maps, so like the end of the street, there's not hyperbole, like a, a 50 to 60 foot palm tree mm -hmm. that, went down, missed a house by like inches. Like the trees in front of our house missed our house by like a foot, a foot and I mean, it was, yeah. I, again, I have no idea how more people were impaled, but, yeah. um, but the craziest part. So those nights, those first nights that were dead silent, you'd get these emergency alerts on your phone, even though you weren't getting anything else. Um, well, even it was only on mom's consumer cellular that there were no emergency services available. The roads were impassable. You can, so like, there's no cops, there's no one's coming. Yeah. And it was like the quietest nights you could ever imagine, which were great. And I would just like, at like seven, right before sunset, I would light all the candles and like get everything going. Yeah. And, and then, and you'd go to sleep and you'd be woken up by sporadic gunfire gunfire yeah so think about it all these houses and stuff are open yeah there's so people, people are looting stuff everywhere yeah there's wow. no emergency services no police or anything else yeah yeah you gotta you gotta really hand it to the looters <laughs> that's you gotta really want a tv you know what I'm looking out. for? I'm looking for something in a wet TV. You got that? <laughs> like, so crazy. It was, it was uh, crazy. And it was yeah. like, it was like one of those few times. And then, um, it's, there's so much I'd love to say, but, uh, let's just say a certain lady that I live with <laughs> hmm. of a certain age Mm -hmm. May or may not have said like, oh, I have a fire. I'm like, excuse me? She's like, yeah, I'm sleeping with it under my pillow. So don't make any weird <laughs> noises. I'm like. I remember your mom. I remember what your mom What are you telling that. me? Yeah. I think we might have it on video, uh, which is going to be in this episode. Oh, my gosh. Of her, of her, her Second Amendment situation. <laughs> Yeah, which I loved because I was just like, your mom is the most Florida woman I've ever met. Oh, my gosh. And, she, she's, and like, she's so, become Florida man. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Uh, your mom's so really you, cool, though. She's great. But I was like, please don't shoot me in the middle of the night. Please try not to. <laughs> I appreciate that. Did you guys shot. sleep in that closet that you were in? Well, so the, for like the 16 hours, the hurricane was like on top of us. Yeah. yeah, we didn't leave except for like very short bursts to like go to the bathroom and stuff and like check to make sure there's no water coming up because we were afraid like, cause you know, you're in the interior closet and then the worst nightmare is that like water starts coming under the door and then you can't open the door and get out and you, you know, right. But we yeah. were just waiting for like the roof to get sucked off. We were just waiting yeah. for it. Oh yeah. That's like, that was my biggest fear. And I remember you guys saying that you're like, okay, we can live with the roof getting torn off. 
or we can live with the flooding. We can't live with the flooding. But if we yeah. have both, I don't know what's going to happen. So thank goodness we only got a little bit of the roof torn off and a little bit of flooding. Yeah. And then you had an article um, that was published. I did. And it was really funny because it was one of those ones that like – Every, every like liberal in the world was like, how dare you, you traitor. And then like every, every hardcore, like Trumper in the world was like, you condescending whore. I was like, okay, <laughs> forget it. It's about people coming together, but all right. <laughs> Whatever you want to read into it. Yeah. It was like some yeah. sort of political Rorschach. Uh, but I got to have it. Like the neighbors were um, super great and they were I, and like, it was really funny because I have these solar panels. And so I would charge everything during the day with these solar panels. And like, everyone was out there with these massive generators like during the day. And but here's the kicker. After like three days, everyone was out of gas yeah. and there was nowhere to get gas. Yeah. And I'm like, anyone want to use my solar panels? You're more than welcome to, you know where they are. They in the driveway, like just help yourself. And then the other neighbors that brought us lots of ice and a stromboli, which was like amazing because we were just, yeah. Because yeah. here's the thing, like the thing. So by the way, anyone that is, I've been trying to sell another article that like nobody wants to buy about like real life tested emergent, my emergency stuff, because mm -hmm. it's been through quite a few things and I can tell you what works and what actually doesn't. But the interesting thing is when you have no power, no water, no, so like there's no way to cook anything. Yeah. So you know how like a lot of people have like emergency food that's like pasta, like, good luck. <laughs> you know, like, right. I guess be, like, you can so eat dry, uncooked pasta. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just a little crunchy. For six or seven hours till it's al dente, you know. Just, yeah. <laughs> So just Might be a little moldy by then. You'll be fine. <laughs> it's fine. With no air conditioning. Like, it'll be fine in the heat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my did God. You, I was. Did you have, so how did hot. you guys cook? Like, did you use a little alcohol, like, burners or? I have some of those, but we just ate stuff that didn't need to be cooked. Like, so we, we burned okay. through everything in the fridge first and then. And then we had to like bag up all the Jeffrey Dahmer smelling stuff that went rotten. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and I was like so hot because it's so hot here and without any air conditioning. So I was just like sleeping on the lanai, which was all like tattered and torn up. And, and so like in this other mosquito net I have inside of the mosquito net inside of like the shredded screens. Like I'm like, I'm so hot. <laughs> yeah. But man. And that gator. So I have like, a, I I'll have to share pictures. I have this thermal imaging. So this is the kind of stuff. Like, obviously I'm at the end of my rope with all things, but uh, financially, however, um, when you, previously have too much money and too much time you buy things like a thermal imaging camera because why not and so like <laughs> that was like the craziest too i would sit out there and i would see what things were lurking in the night <laughs> like, yeah like was, yeah so i'm like i felt like predator was watching me but like in reverse <laughs> it was <laughs> there was that a lot so of creepy funny. stuff out there. There was really? a lot of creepy stuff. Yeah, because you wouldn't see the alligators on it, right? No, you would. So at night it would get cool enough their body temperature, so you you'd see the. It, it was unnerving how many alligators there were. Um, <laughs> there was definitely that panther was back, and I was like, "Come on!" And I'm like, "I'm so hot, I won't go inside because the damn panther," you know, like. Yeah. But I also didn't want to be like a panther snack. Like an <laughs> actual panther? Yeah, no, like a black panther. What? I didn't know there yeah. were panthers in Florida. There are panthers in Florida. <laughs> the oh wild pigs were back. The rabbits disappeared. I don't know what was happening with them. There was all kinds of crazy stuff happening. I like how humans get like temporarily destabilized for like three days and all the wildlife is just like, this is ours now. It, oh, completely. Completely. And the way that you described it in the article, also, it felt like it's insane to think about how one storm later you can go from like first world 
country conditions it's so like third world country conditions just in like oh a snap you know and and just yeah and the crazy part is is it's like it wasn't even like th- it was like less than third because i'm pretty sure they have cell phones that work in the third world you know like this was this was like primitive. Yeah. It was primitive. And yeah. the crazy part is I just went um, and got my bivalent booster and my flu shot. And for some reason, like the only farm, cause, like everything's still all jacked up. And this pharmacy was like half an hour inland, inland. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we're like less than two miles from the coast. This was like another 15 miles inland. It is flat. I mean, flattened. There is not oh, wow. a structure stand. I was like, oh, wow. the CVS made it and nothing else. Like, uh, uh, yeah. none of the street lights even work still. Wow. On, on these roads that are like, you know, three or four lanes on each side. And like Florida drivers are heinous to begin with. Like, take away all the street lights. Like, you're really gambling. <laughs> like, it's it's ugly. Yeah. It's really ugly. Yeah. So, well, yeah. what's the name off? the top of your head we'll see if you know Mm -hmm. this do you do you know the name of florida that got hit really hard by a hurricane but they survived other than where we are right now like i mean they had they kept electricity the whole time nothing got like severely damaged because it was built to be storm resistant oh my gosh that weird village that's like 30 miles inland yeah yeah, I, I, I read about that, and I'm like, okay, that sounds awesome. The only other problem with that is it's 30 miles inland. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, Babcock Ranch. Yeah, so when I was like a, like a five-minute ride to the beach. Like, that's, that's a – yeah. you know, they're intact, so. Yeah, I was going to say, I was like, um, I don't know if that's, like, so far inland that how, – how much does it really prove – what they've done is like successful, but, um, but either based way, on, I mean, looks pretty cool. Based on what I saw of like, I think, can you see on the map? Like, I think that's where it was. I think it's called Northport is where like the CVS was mm-hmm. and absolutely destroyed. Destroyed. Yeah. Okay. So here's Babcock ranch. Let's see where, yeah, it's crazy. When you look on the map, there's still like flood warnings all over the area. Oh no, e- like everywhere. Yeah. And then do you want to hear the craziest? I can't believe I'm not to admit this publicly. So I got my I woke up this morning and I was like, I am unwell. I am not okay. And if any lady is listening, they will understand this. Uh I have a UTI. And Oh shoot. It is literally Every chick I know, we would rather be like stabbed in the eye with like a broken glass bottle than have like a UTI. And I'm like, what the hell? Because all the usual things one does to get a UTI have not been happening, right? Like, like, so get this. So I've been taking mom every night to the shore, like to the beach, just Mm -hmm. because, you know, like a walk on the beach, looking for some shark's teeth, just chill out after a day of BS dealing with like insurance and, you know, trying to cut up logs and, you know, like yeah, lumberjack work, all that kind of stuff. Uh, There is so much new bacteria in the water. Oh, wow. From the storm. From the storm. The only fun part about that is that like, the UTI is not fun, but the fun part is like all these dolphins were, have been like hanging out like really close to the shore. Cause they're like, you know, you could lure me with a dolphin any day. I'm like, dolphins! and I'm like straight into this like manky looking water. <laughs> like yeah. just nasty ass water. I'm like, let me in. Well, and, and like when it floods all over like that, does your guys' like sewage water come into the streets and yeah. stuff too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then maybe yeah. that ends up, in the ocean somehow. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. And then in my urethra. Yeah. yeah so like, you know, it's, it's like, <laughs> don't so go in the bad. water. Well, I, when I, I was a kid. Like, yeah. When I was a kid. Wa- sorry. Like poop water? <laughs> I, I, I swam in it. We were visiting family in Houston when it got hit by like a, um, I guess. One of a, Houston's massive flooding events. Cause like yeah. Houston floods like a mofo. Yeah. Yeah. A tropical storm. 
and uh, my grandma's house like flooded and everything and the streets were designed to like become like basically canals when it floods and unless the house is still flooded and me and my siblings were all over there like look mom Yay! it's like a pool Yay! it's like full of like down power lines and bacteria and like floating duty <laughs> that's what I was thinking I was like there's probably a turd like right by us <laughs> you know what I mean? yes <laughs> but I know. I just like can't resist a dolphin. Like I had to get in. Uh, <laughs> now I regret it entirely, and I'm sorry that that's TMI for anyone. But yeah, it's just like another reason I'm like bed's the way to go. Uh, so, but I gotta say this: I am incredibly grateful, and then we'll move on. I'm incredibly grateful for everyone that cared, whether we lived or died. I'm incredibly grateful that we survived. The stuff is just stuff. Um, I'm incredibly grateful that more people were not hurt because it's shocking to me. Like when you see it, you're just like, how did anyone survive? It's like, you know, when you see like one of those like bomb blasts in Afghanistan, like on TV and you're like, and then they're just people like, yeah, only like two people. You're like, how is that possible? It's like that. It's just, it makes yeah. no sense. Everything's like leveled. Um, and I'm really glad about it. It's a bummer because like the expense from it, like the deduct, I can't like, I don't know how we're going to figure any of this stuff out, but we're going to figure it out. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm really grateful for all of you that cared whether you lived or died. I'm sorry we put you in that terrible position of being the last person to talk to us before we got sucked out of the house through the roof. <laughs> Oh no, my gosh. I, I was right. like, I'm sure they'll be okay. I'm sure they'll be fine. And then it was, and then yeah. in the group text that you created before you lost contact with the world, um, someone had actually responded at some point being like, Diane's alive. Like she called us something, something, you know, and I didn't see that message. So <laughs> I didn't know until like maybe an hour or two hours after everybody else in there. When, oh my God, um, amazing. When gentleman caller was like, "Oh yeah, they said they had a very harrowing night, but they're alive," and I was like, "Oh yay, so. yay, yeah." Well, it was crazy because like we like even on mom's consumer cellular, like you'd get she'd get like a tiny bit for like a minute, and then it would disappear. So you're just like staring yeah. at the phone, and uh, yeah, you can tell all the screens because the amount of bugs in here, seriously, and then. The crazy part is so like the standing water has been around for days, obviously two weeks now. And the amount of mosquitoes. Yeah, I can only imagine. It is. And this is like, it's, it's, yeah, it's like full on primitive. I thought about it. I was like, man, I wish I had my bow and arrow here. Cause I'm like, I can make this work if I have my stuff from storage. <laughs> I have to get that down here. I, can do a I little... know it's like the apocalypse over there. <laughs> It was like full. Okay. Speaking of the apocalypse uh, for next that we have to, so I'm anyway, I'm really grateful and I'm thankful to everyone. I'm sorry. I don't sound more enthusiastic right now, but between the exhaustion, the, uh, everything else. Yeah. My lady. Part I have no me. excuse. I was just like, Diane's in bed. I'm going to go to bed too. This I'm sounds so glad fun. You're in, I'm so glad we're both. It's like here. a slumber party. It is. Um, Armageddon. We could talk about Armageddon in the news, which would be interesting. Or we could talk about, have you read anything about that fat bear contest? I don't even understand. I just like that there's something called the fat bear contest. Um, I have an article about it that I pulled out. Do you? Yeah. So apparently fat, know. it's fat bear week uh, from October 5th to October 11th. So it's going to be closed by the time this episode is released. But... Um, yeah, it's it's extremely exciting because um, I don't know about you guys. I just like that there's anything called Fat Bear Week. And I think, you know, like as someone that has lived in, you know, Manhattan for most of like almost actually almost all of my adult life, you know, Fat Bear Week would be something I'd see on the, the hottest gay club, right? Like there'd be like a sign <laughs> in the, week, the window. I'm really like disappointed that that's not <laughs> what Fat Bear Week is. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's actual it. literal fat bears. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they're calling um, the day that Fat Bear Week ends, which is today. <laughs> no, all I can it... think about is like like fat bears. <laughs> <laughs> they're calling it Fat Bear Tuesday. <laughs> 
Mm, bear growl. Brewing <laughs> growl. Yeah, we're gonna have some brewing yeah. growl. We're gonna some, some, <laughs> delicious. Okay, so you told me that someone made another sip in soy sauce remix. Yeah. Yeah, thing. so let's watch it. Yeah, it actually happened. I'm really, really proud of them. This one is by Janae. And actually, this happened a few, uh, this happened a while back. But I was like, you know what? Actually, I have no excuse. I just forgot. And then we should say this that you're going to watch it on the phone because, because this platform that we're trying out. Oh, here we go. By Janae. But it progressively gets more random every 15 seconds. That's in the title. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty excited. Wait, I don't know if you, you know, you probably can't read that, but can you read it? Oh, so yeah. It actually, it actually says that in the title. Okay, I'm ready for this. I'm pretty excited. All right, three, two, one. But I still have like one. an hour of work. I'd be starving. So hungry. Uh. The only thing I had in with me was like soy sauce packets, and I was just like, "Fuck!" It. Did you do it? Okay, that was my favorite part. Beans. Beans. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. That, like, I could have listened to that yeah, all yeah. day. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it, I'm liking that. Only three people have liked that? That is a damn shame. <laughs> Janae right, and I'm Naya, sending you one more too. I am in love one. with that sip and soy. I'm literally, I'm not only this, I'm gonna I'm gonna share that right now because this is makes me so happy. Hello, what have we here? Oh my gosh. Here, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna open that one in a second and I'll show you this because because I so very happily left Charlie in New York. Oh, Charlie. And he would not have made it. That is faux show. So that's what gentleman caller just sent me. So he is so cute. Okay. Oh, I'm glad he's okay, man. He honestly would not have made it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Sipping soy sauce acoustic remix. I don't <laughs> understand how that's a, how's that possible. Okay, let's see. So that's the um, acoustic version that you did. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> this one's a cacophony. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the round. It's like in the round. <laughs> this is like the purgatory remix. <laughs> this is what they play in hit mode to detainees. <laughs> this is what they do. I love that the video of it is just like, you know what I mean? Like the tracks. Just the tracks, yeah. Just the tracks. <laughs> oh my god, it goes on for like, let's just, I'm gonna fast forward just to make sure we're not missing anything. <laughs> I feel like that's like I'm imagining that was beautiful. like if Christmas yeah, was in hell. 
was beautiful. Yeah, still going. <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh, it's a game. <laughs> Adel edited crappily with Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum. Okay, thank you. Closed cap. That was friggin' hilarious too. That's getting sent. That's getting. That's going in the archive. Seriously, like I, I, this makes me so happy. Oh yeah, and then somebody asked, um, mm -hmm. "What's up with my shirts?" Oh yeah, they what like want to know more shirts? about my t-shirts. Um, I don't really have that many shirts, but I did want to just talk about this shirt. Ooh, look, um, yeah, this is like my best friend from high school. She's in a metal band with her husband. Badass. Yeah, and their name is Oryx. So, um, shout out to Abby and Tommy. Oh, Abby and Tommy, we're gonna have to follow them. Yeah. Okay, would you like to hear, while we're doing bad things, would you like to hear, like, a bad techno song I wrote? Um, you, always. Yeah, you know I love my EDM. All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> okay, we'll see. I'll let you pick. There's one called Techno Waves. There's one called Darkness. Um, I'll let you pick between those two. Ooh, Darkness. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right. Okay, this is a bop. It's not bad, right? Yeah. I think that we think it's better. Did you make this on your phone? Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. It's not bad. Like if, yeah. I, if I had a different life, I would absolutely like live in Ibiza and like be like a DJ. I'd be like a weird leathery like Dutch guy, and then like I would just. <laughs> I was gonna say this is definitely like. I was thinking more like underground Germany. Ooh. And you go like, yes. <laughs> it's pretty industrial. It, it's it's uh it's pretty fun. Wait, let's see. Now that now that we're here, I know we've got other stuff to do. Now I want to know what the other one's like. I can't remember. I can't remember what techno is like. I love doing crap like you write music. You know exactly. Yep. Okay. Send me your, your track and we'll upload it for people to listen to. Oh my gosh, totally. All right, let's listen to this. What does Techno Wave sound like? Okay, this one's a Ibiza. Yeah, that's a little more Ibiza. Like a daytime dance party. Oh yeah, it's good times. So I'm not sure if we're playing the video that we recorded during the hurricane before or after this section of the podcast. Oh, I think before, right? Okay, yeah. I don't know. That makes sense. Do it in chronological I, order. We did. Look at us. We're so. Can I tell you about this bike ride I had the other night? And then, you know what we should talk about? We should talk about everyone who's been asking us about merchandising. Oh, yeah. 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 So we have some really good ideas for merch. Um, I'm not an effing scientist. Is one. <laughs> it's so true, too. I'm not. I always think I am. I'm just not. I feel like um, we definitely got to have a sip and soy sauce. Uh, <laughs> option at least so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna probably create a few different options for merch and Gosh, then so good we'll probably do like a vote oh yeah and, and then see. we could stick it up on like the instagram store or something yeah exactly precisely I like, I like that um okay i have to tell you about this bike ride so for reasons totally outside of my control I have been drained of funds in a way that I cannot even explain and unable to work totally against my wishes. So <clears throat> don't laugh. 
I'm down to one beautiful pair of Gucci loafers. Okay. Just, I know the horror of it all. Like that's all I've got left. I've got like one beautiful pair of Gucci loafers left. And so Rosh Hashanah was right before I flew home for the, the hurricane. And I was in, I was in the city and I went to, uh, my synagogue, which is CBST in the city with like my, my buddies for Rosh Hashanah services. And we had like the Masonic hall. It was great. Masonic hall is like downtown on the West side. We get out late. And by the way, the city, and I love New York more than any place on earth. It's getting effing weird. Like weird stuff is happening every day. The subways are getting loco. It's, it is like what I imagined it was like in the early eighties, like not kosher. Uh, and it's like getting there fast. Like it's getting like weird and violent and grubby and like dirty. And wow. Yeah. It's devolving quickly. And so my buddy Anna and I were like the last ones left. And so I was like, let me walk you home. And it's just like, how are you going to get home? And uh, there are no, like there were no cabs. There were no Ubers. And I'm like, you know, I'm going to take one of these electric city bikes. And by the way, it is a long ass ride from like downtown on the west side to the upper east side. It is a long ride. <laughs> so, but I'm like, and it's late, but I'm like, ah, you know, it's a beautiful night out. It's just getting crisp. You know, I'm wearing a dress, but who cares? Like, it's going to be fine. And I'm like, I'm going to go up Sixth Avenue. I'm going to go through Central Park and then like pop out on to like the east side. So I get on the bike in my dress and my Gucci loafers. And I don't know what was going on. There was like a street fair in the middle of the night on like Rosh Hashanah that was so crazy. And like, I don't know what it's like. I was avoiding street food, right? Like they're like peanuts and hot carts and like kebabs. Like it was crazy. And, Mm -hmm. and no one was paying attention to like the bike lane. I get it. I get it. But there was like nowhere to go. And so you just like taking people out. It was, it was horrible, but it got on the other side of it and got, how many people did you mow down? Um, there was, I missed most of them. Some of them did not (laughs) miss me. So like I was covered in like meat sauce and stuff like in this nice, I was like, just watch the shoes. (laughs) Right. Like, (laughs) cause they're like ring, ring, ring. And like people stop being there, yeah. like, oh, they just like throw crap on you. Like, so I had, like, I had some gyro sauce on me. Like, I had some ketchup from people. Like, and there's like, there's no way out of it. It was just, and I'm like, why is this happening so late at night? Like, I don't even understand what's going on. So I finally get to like the base of Central Park. Now, since there are no bike stations anywhere in like Central Park, there's no anything. And the heavens open in a way, like, I don't, it was like monsoon rain. By the way, I'm wearing my glasses, these glasses. So instantaneously, I can't see anything, right? I also have no sense of direction. Yeah. So like, I, I, I don't know where I'm going if I can't see what it says. So I start riding and I'm like, it's fine. I've been, I've ridden my bike through the park a million times. Oh, I'll be fine. No, not at all, Danny. I end up at like 67th on the west side. I'm, by the way, I'm soaking wet. I forgot entirely to bring a purse with me. This I've flown millions of miles. This trip to, to up to New York, I forgot everything basic that I needed, including any kind of purse. I was like rolling around with this bag I got that said like, women make weed better. Like that's it. Like that's the tote bag. I was like carrying like everywhere to like church to everywhere else. Like that's all I had going for me. So I've got this like hemp tote bag and, and I'm like, no, my shoes. Right. But there's like nowhere to stop at this point. I'm completely lost. I can't see I'm soaking wet. And then I shit you not, excuse my language. I shit you not a freaking BMX biker gang, right? Like I stop and and I can't even get directions or anything because it's pouring so hard that I can't use my body and the droplets are hitting the screen, you know, like so yeah. fast, like I can't. Yeah. And so there's this like early eighties BMX biker gang that like rolls up like these teenagers. On these, I'm like, and then they, I hear them say, I kid you not, get her. I'm like, what? And I'm like, oh no. 
So I start, <laughs> I'm on an electric bike, right? I start hauling it as fast as I can, right? These little teenagers were keeping up with my electric oh, bike. What? And I was like, oh, and like one's trying to like knock me off the bike. I'm like, oh, hell no, right? I'm like kicking. I'm like kicking. I'm like, get out of here. Get out of here. You're not getting my tote bag, right? So <laughs> like while this is happening, I have no idea where I am. I can't see anything. I finally just have to like take my glasses off. Pass up like a, there's no one in the park, obviously. Then there's like lightning that's like, hitting things nearby. And I'm like, what do I do? Do I like stay in the middle? Do I go under a tree, which you're not supposed to do? These biker guys are behind me. I'm on a giant piece of metal. Like nothing about this is good. Pass a cop car, right? And, and I'm like, these kids are chasing me. He's like, what do you want me to do? And I'm like, get them. Anything, <laughs> right? So I'm like, I'm totally, totally lost. <laughs> Finally, like, and I'm going, I don't even know where I am. I have no idea where, I, and I've, I can't even, I've lived there for like 30, I have no idea where I am. And yeah. so um, I ended up at Tavern on the Green at one point. I don't know. I don't know how I got out of there. Then I finally, finally made it to like the edge. And then the biker kids, like when I got to like the main road, like Fifth Avenue, like mm -hmm. exit the park, they finally were like, oh, it's just going to Fifth Avenue, right? There's like nobody else. Now it's just late and it's still pouring. And so I cross like 90th Street and there is like a, one of the disabled access taxi cabs there and like this old school like cab driver was standing outside holding a newspaper over his head like outside this cab door and i have no idea why um as i ride past him because i'm going really slowly now because i'm like now i'm just like out of breath i know i was on electric bike but still i was like uh it was like that was a long bike chase but oh, yeah. and, I, and by the way it is still pouring <laughs> or I have no glasses on or and I can't see anything, but I got a general vibe of where I am. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make it from here. Um, the cabbie looks at me and he goes, You whore and spits a loogie at me. I have no idea why. What? Yeah, no, I have no idea why, Danny. I have no idea why. Okay? I have no idea why. Jeez. Yeah, and I was like, well, then. He immediately gets in his cab and starts following me. Yes. Following? And, I'm like, and like revving the engine and stuff so loud. I can hear it, hear it, okay, over the rainstorm <laughs> that's happening around us with lightning and thunder. And I'm like, oh, my God, this guy's going to kill me. So, by the way, at this point, I am so wet and my, my leather shoes are are just getting looser and looser, right? With the amount of water and rain and stuff, it was so bad. <laughs> this cabbie, and I'm like, oh my gosh. He's like, then he's literally like trying to knock me. I have no idea. I have no idea what I did to this guy. Maybe because my, my dress was like all hiked up at this point and I'm soaking wet. I have no idea what was going on to be a whore and to be followed by this cabbie <laughs> and he he's scaring me so badly in this car he's like, oh, 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 and like coming up to the back of the bike i'm like i am not athletic nimble in this sort of way especially anymore i had to jump the curb in an electric you know how much these electric bikes weigh i had to jump the curb in between two cars in this electric bike i kid you not heading towards the front doors of a building on park avenue right the doorman sees me because I'm careening towards the glass doors of this building. <laughs> he opens the door and I rode inside. <laughs> so I'm in this like luxury building, Park Avenue lobby, soaking wet on a bike. And he's like, he's like, you look like you're having quite the night. And I'm like, I am. I am. I'm like, I can't see anything. And this guy's chasing me. So anyway, I wait for a little bit and then like see, and like doorman was really nice. I'm like, I'm sorry about all the water ever. He's like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I got it. I was like, thank you. I'm like, I'm like, let me see if that crazy cabbie's still out there. So then like I, I cross, like I, I just have like a couple blocks to go, right? To get back, like a couple blocks to go. I just yeah. like got to make it. And I look around, I'm like, oh, he's gone. I get to the next corner. Guess who's in the damn cab waiting for me? 
<laughs> what? He's I don't know why. He's on the corner, Danny. Okay. <laughs> He's on the corner as soon as the light turns green. So I'm like, oh, nobody's coming. I have like illegally crossed like Park Avenue, which is like a, just to get like, because nobody was coming. I'm like, he can't go. No, didn't stop him. He ran the red light. He's like revving the engine again. And stuff. I'm like, this is crazy. I start riding so fast and I'm so wet and it is still pouring. It is pouring that I lose my shoes somewhere on Lexington Avenue. Like they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. And I'm like, no, and I can't stop, okay? <laughs> like, I, I finally can't. lose the dude at like Third I Avenue. I, I make it around, I dock the bike, and then I'm searching in my, my hemp weed, women weed tote bag for the keys that were lent to me for the apartment, and I can't find them. And so I'm just oh, in no. the pouring rain, like barefoot, like buzzing and buzzing and buzzing and buzzing and buzzing. And like gentleman caller was listening to football so loudly. He did not hear anything. Right. Oh and, my gosh. And like my phone's cause I'm standing there. So like the phone, I can't get the phone to do anything. And finally I get the phone. Cause there's no dry part of me, like dry the screen, you know, to like, just yeah. get, mm. finally get it. I'm like, let me in. <laughs> Wow. By the way, oh I just gosh. wanted you to, and then I get in and I'm like, I'm angry. I'm like, you listen to football. It was the first time I ever got cross. I was like, you listen to football so long in Canada. I'm getting killed out there. I'm getting killed. <laughs> I lost some shoes. My like, Gucci's are gone. I know. I know. I went oh. back, like, they were so good. I really hope, like, some, just some adorable twink, like, found them and was just, like, manna from heaven. Just, like, a pair of, like, Gucci low. The rain, like, stretched them out just perfectly enough to fit his big feet. <laughs> exactly. Like, I hope, I hope that's where they went. But, um, <laughs> but, so, you know, the last few years have been pretty epically difficult and Rosh Hashanah is is the new the new year so that is literally how I welcome the new year and I'm like I, I hope this isn't a bad portent for what's gonna happen for the rest of the year <laughs> why were random people attacking you that's like... I don't know okay I kind of get like the BMX biker gang in the park right because there was like the park was empty and then it started pouring and like, they probably were going to mug me, you know what I mean? Or just mess around with me, whatever teenagers. Like I get that. <laughs> get her. Cabby, I don't understand it all. Like, first of all, that's like a high risk situation. Running over a cyclist is, is a, a felony, you know, especially if done intentionally. Um, there was nothing going to be productive for the cabbie about this situation. Uh, hitting that bike would have devastated the car, not my softness, but definitely the big electric. I have no idea. But like why he even hocked a lug at me and called me a whore, I got no idea. Yeah. yeah it that's was insane. Uh, yeah, it was crazy. But happy new year, Shana Toba. So <laughs> there was that. Happy New Year. Yeah, and then I came home to the hurricane and then hung out with my mom in that closet, which is the most time we've ever spent together in that kind of close quarters since I was in the womb. So, like, <laughs> Well, you spent it with the right woman because that gun, if anyone would have like tried to attack you again, you just needed your mom around the BMX bikers and the cab drivers of New York. Seriously, although I can't. <laughs> Like, I, I I don't know if I should say, this has made me laugh. I it, Not just generally, but in, in that particular room, she's like, but I only brought in 12 bullets. And I was like, okay. And I'm like, so I'm, I'm like, uh, so should we like hope the 13th guy's a real pussy? Like, is that like, <laughs> I'm like, is that what we're going for here? How many guns does a bullet, I mean, how many bullets does a gun usually have anyways? Uh, it depends on the kind of gun, if it's a revolver or if it's like a clip style gun, but this particular yeah. gun. Well, I know how like many six. bullets a revolver has. Yeah, Eight. so. No, I'm just kidding. 
six, but it depends, you know, <laughs> there might be an eight. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a gun expert. But um, this is like when I tell people, I'm like, oh, yeah, the Broncos are my favorite baseball team. Oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. By the way, Dead there was Bryce some kid at the pharmacy. He was, d- d- I don't know who put this kid there. So I'm sitting waiting for my my booster shots and this little hot pocket that's sitting there. I mean, he was a gorgeous. He was a deli- he was like I was like, "Oh, you're you're tasty." I mean, I was like creepy old man there for a second. And then he strikes up a conversation about uh about the vaccine and was like, "Okay, getting it." And his parents told him get it and I'm like, "Oh, how old are you?" And he's like 17 a month. Diane, you're so gross. <laughs> like, I, I let the thought go. I was just having like a nice chat with this kid at this point, right? Like I was like, okay, let don't don't let it cry. Diane, don't, don't be disgusting. Fix it. Yeah. And and it was more it was more like admiration for the youth, like looking at a statue. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a piece of art. It was gorgeous. Yeah. Um, but I don't know why. It was really funny because we were sitting there. And he's because I'm like, oh, you should definitely, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer in the vaccines and stuff. And he's like, oh, do you have any experience with that? And it's like, what do you do for a living? I don't know why. I literally go, I'm a neuroscientist. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> I don't know why I lied. I just didn't want to be an actor at that moment. I didn't want to be anything. Like, I just... I was just like, oh, my neuroscientists, just believe me that the vaccine's fine. Not an epidemiologist. Like, I had to make it like a a sci- like a serious scientist, but like epidemi, like adjacent, you know, because like that's too right. dead on, right? Yeah. I don't, I don't even know why I lied in the first place. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, so here I am, always claiming I'm not a scientist, but <laughs> my family's in the CBS vaccine waiting room. You're like, I'm not a scientist. I'm a neuroscientist. Ooh, that's a better one. <laughs> Don't know anything about Maybe, gators. <laughs> Maybe he was the twink that found your Gucci shoes. If he were in New York. Were yeah. they, can I, so question. Mm-hmm. Um, were they like slides? Were they like slippers? No, no, no. They were like the Princeville loafers. Yeah. So they weren't the oh. slide version. They were like mm-hmm. the yeah. Because I can't, I don't, I can't function. I can't wear mules and I can't wear slides. I don't know why. You know what else I can't wear? Regular flip flops. Like the space between my two major toes is like that big, <laughs> and I, I can't. Like, I'm like, I don't even know. My feet are probably dirty. It was going to like, but it's like, I don't know how to, it's, do you see how big that space is? Okay. I, I can't do this. <laughs> was that too much? Was that too much? I love you, Diane, but I felt like your foot was like in my face. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, Danny, I'm so sorry. <laughs> No, you're all and good. it's you're like all good. it's like not. It's obviously had a day. You know, the foot's had a day. That was I'm in sorry. some gator water. Yeah, I'm so earlier. sorry about that. But, um, <laughs> no, I'm just I'm yeah. Just no, but that, but that space is like too big. So, but I can't wear mules, and I can't wear I can't wear slides, and I I can't wear flip flops. It's just the I just kick them off. You know, all all versions yeah. of those shoes. I just beep, you know just like see you later, buddy. They just fall right off. Yeah. So, so, um, but they were like, my feet are a size 10, lady 10, which is like a men's size eight. And then with the stretching. So I'm pretty sure they got to like a men's nine, 10. Okay. Yeah. So it's very reasonable. Yeah. But some gentlemen. Hopefully they found a second home. I hope so. And didn't just get like run over. I know. I know. I'm going to miss them too. Oh. Well, I'll buy you some knockoffs for, for Christmas. Oh my gosh, well, oh, that's awesome! Do you know what the <laughs> knockoffs will do? Like, I'll be caught in a rainstorm in the knockoffs, and they'll just dissolve on my feet, like when the water hits them. <laughs> well, did you hear what Payless had done? No, tell me. Um, they opened a designer designer store in. Um, Wait, can I just stop you for one second? Payless yeah. shoe store. Shoe source, right? Like, so is that yeah. does that still exist? Apparently, they still exist. Yeah. Okay. And they opened a designer store in LA, um, saying that it was a. So they named it Pales, 
without the Y. <laughs> and they said that it was from Palessi, the famous shoe designer. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> and then a bunch of people like fell for it and was like, oh my God. And people were paying like $700 each shoe. And so what they would do is after they bought the shoes, they would like give them their money back and tell them, you know, what happened. Oh my gosh. They punked but, people. Yeah. Yeah. So That's you never amazing. know. Maybe, maybe the quality is better than anticipated or and I'm uh, sure it's all vegan leather. Cause none of it's real. Like so. <laughs> AKA plastic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah. By the way, do you know what I'm going to plant? So um, once the roads are a little more clear, so for the next episode, I'm, I, the great part about like the prepping for the hurricane was just like organizing things a bit. And I finally found my GoPro. Now I may have to use my phone, but like I'm what, what I'm planning on doing. So every time I've been out at night, the amount of crazy creatures that are out, it is, it is genuinely terrifying. So I figured I'd take a bike ride in the neighborhood with a GoPro on the front. So you can see the craziness of like being that caught be in a stampede awesome. of feral pigs and like that <laughs> weird day. That was the weirdest day where all these rabbits started like following me. And I'm like, why? <laughs> like, why? <laughs> People just like to follow you. <laughs> or spit on me. What is that? <laughs> on bikes and cabs. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Have we gone over an hour? I'm so sorry, Danny. Yeah, no, that's all right. Um, and then I think what I'm going to do actually is I think I'm going to release the other episode as a like, uh, like right oh as gosh. a separate episode right before this. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. Or maybe as a bonus. What do you think as a bonus? Um, can you do the bonus, and then so they know what we're talking about? Yeah. Can the bonus come out tomorrow, and then they? I know that's too much work for you. Oh, like this would be the bonus. No, like that would be the bonus, but it has to come out before this one comes out on Thursday. So people know what we're talking about with the hurricane reference. Right. By the way, I have to I'll just tell release everyone, two. Danny didn't release the hurricane one because he <laughs> didn't want to jinx mom and I. And I fully appreciate that and the respect <laughs> of the jinx. So I, I'm very grateful, Danny. I was like, you know if, if I release it now, it, they're going to die. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know I why I it. know that. I feel but, it. Yeah. Sometimes you got to respect the jinx. I mean, oh my God, I just like puked in my mouth a little bit. Like I am unwell as a human. <laughs> like, just, like I'm not okay. <laughs> Very excited about sleeping tonight. <sighs> do you guys have AC now? I mean, you have electricity, so I assume. We do. We do. But That's like good. everything, I mean... The problem is like even the AC, I mean, everything is just jacked up. So, yeah. but the nice thing is like mom, like all older ladies, she's freezing constantly. And so she's fine. <laughs> Me on the other hand, I am dying. So I would show you, but so I got one of those like standalone um, air conditioning units. It's like a robot that's in your room. <laughs> like, and just as like a hose that goes to the window. Uh, and it's been sufficient. But okay, nice. Yeah, but today was like you know, 85 and a thousand percent humidity. It's just like, it's brutal. Yeah. But we're alive, yeah. so whatever. I could I could barely survive Florida when I was there for a week, not during a hurricane. Yeah. So m- m- many props for uh, pulling through. Yes, and you know what? The last comment I'll make, like... Um, for all the, the nice thing about having a lot of very Trumpy neighbors, aside from us having like a bit of like, Hey, let's all get together. Um, which was, which was genuinely awesome, but they all had like so many weapons (laughs) that like, we would have been fine no matter what. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like it would have been, would have been taken care of. So there's always that looters you know would have been because i just imagine my mom being like that so there was a dude recently on the subway in new york and i'm not laughing at the situation because it would have been horrible 
But he threw like a smoke grenade into the subway car. Okay. So visibility was zero. And then he started firing a gun. He unloaded like a clip of like 12 bullets into a subway car from the inside the subway car hit nobody because he threw the smoke bomb first and then couldn't see a damn thing. Wow. It was just like pew 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 pew. Like, thank God. Like, thank, thank goodness. He, but like, and everyone was safe. Nobody was injured. But like, at close range, unloading an entire clip in like a subway car, and he hit nobody. But like, why the smoke canister, man? Like, sorry. I don't know why I find that so funny, but it's just like, you know, it's like one of those burglars that gets caught because they have like the sneakers that have lights in them or something. You know, you're just yeah. like, what are you doing? Like, yeah. Oh my God. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but that's pretty much where New York is going at the moment. There's like a lot of subway <laughs> violence. So, you know, that part's not awesome. It sounds like you need to find a third part of the U.S. to consider having... But at like, your disposal. Danny, Danny, like where like I never wanted to move to LA. So when I had the LA house, like you got wildfires and mudslides oh, and earthquakes. Definitely not LA. No. Yeah. No. And then by the way, with all this like nuclear brouhaha going on, they've started putting up posters all over New York City, like public service announcements on how to decontaminate after a radiation attack. So that's fun. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm dead serious. Like I'll send wow. you the photos. Like it's crazy. That's insane. Yeah, it's uh, it's unnerving, and then yeah, you have people throwing smoke canisters and fire. Pew 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 pew. pew. Like, where? <laughs> I can't see anything. Where is everyone? I can't shoot anyone. Like, you know the dipshit that threw in the smoke canister. <laughs> so. I like how every now and then, like. Some of the past segment ideas that we have just naturally <laughs> pop up again, like how oh, we were this? thinking like dumbest criminals as oh, a segment. Yeah, yeah. That that's a good qualifier for qualifier for that. It, it, I'm really happy everyone's okay, and I don't like it happening on the subway. But I don't know. It just tickles me to death because I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> like, I'm what? also really glad that you didn't. You and your mom didn't get a Darwin Award. I'm very glad about that. By the way, speaking of crazy things, did you see the video that's going around of, of like inside of a McDonald's in New York? And there's just some sort of fight. And this dude pulls out like a he just calmly these. OK, so there's a dude and these people. Someone's filming this and these people are like beating on him. Right. They're like. I don't know what happened, but like he was obviously being the one that was being attacked by like a very rowdy group of like, like the BMX gang had gone to a, a McDonald's, right? <laughs> and this is like an older gentleman, very fit, but like older gentleman who was literally getting hit and beat on by these kids. He calmly takes off his backpack, unzip, this is super mellow, unzips the thing, pulls out a hatchet. <laughs> Please look this up. Please look this what? up. Yeah. And then he starts going absolutely insane with a hatchet in this McDonald's. It's so crazy. And the best part is the guy filming it. The guy filming it. You hear him at one point go, oh, man, that's why I always carry a knife. And you're like, what? What? This is insane. <laughs> I can't wait for you wow. to look it up. See, it's this is why, like, I think I've told you before. I'm like, hmm. New York was a cool place to visit. I don't know if I could live. Oh, my gosh. I, I miss it with, like, every hectic. fiber of my being. But, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's gotten a lot more hatchety lately. Yeah. It's a lot, <laughs> like, I can't a wait. lot more hatchety. Are you going to look this up or am I going to have to find this? Oh, person? you want me to do it right now? Yeah, yeah, I'll watch I it right you, now. Yeah. Okay, okay. Like, you I actually do away. have it right here. <laughs> okay. I mean, wait, to see, wait till you see how mellow he just pulls out the hatchet. You're gonna have to tell me. Did you find it? Are you watching it? Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's see what's happening. He's so cute. Oh, yeah. He's, he looks so chill. He's like... Yeah. Wait, is he getting beat on? I ain't gonna He looked like he about to get I said it. Bro, please go back up. Oh. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> he just like broke a table in half. I know. What? I know. That was so fast. I love how like everybody that was just attacking him was just like, "Whoa, hey! <laughs> There's no need for violence here." <laughs> right. But, like, how mellow did he just, like, set the backpack, just unzip that thing, and then just, like, hatch it? I like how he was, like, hugging the trash can, getting mm -hmm. punched, and he was, like, <laughs> just, like, letting them time. punch him. He's, like, yeah. it's fine. <laughs> and then he just pulls out a hatchet. <laughs> did you see the video of the old man that just, like, knocked out, like, four different guys? No. Outside, of, actually, I think this one was outside of a McDonald's. <laughs> oh my God, why is everything happening at McDonald's? <laughs> I don't know, but it was so weird. He just like, I guess he just wanted to fight people, and people were like, okay, like going along with it because he's like a super old dude, and he's okay. moving so slow. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> I swear to God, Diane, <laughs> four people probably got sent to the hospital from that video. <laughs> what should I do? Like, but old like, man it fight? looks like it's in slow motion. <laughs> this is like old man, like old men fighting because a girl last fist fight in Logan had, uh, let's see. Old man knocks out three guys. Really? I'm let's see. That. I think that might be. Elderly ex-boxer. Old man knocks out young gangster. Old man knocks guy the F out. Oh, I found it. Okay. You send me a link? Yeah. But I, well, I found an article about it. Okay, this reminds me. It's like, you know what's funny about this? Huh? Is, uh... What one of my favorite stories from like one of my friends is um, is he tells me about like when he was in acting school and I don't know if you've ever seen like the TV show Barry or the Kaminsky method or anything. So like there are these acting teachers that like gather a following, like they're totally unsuccessful in their own lives, but they get this cult like following. And so one of my friends who went to RADA, which is like the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, was like then in the city and taking this class from this guy named like Nikos, right? Like this famous acting coach who's like in his, he was old. And um, anyway, my friend got into a fight with him in the middle of class. And like the old dude was like, uh, let's put on boxing gloves and do this like the real way. And my friend just like kicked him in the nuts and cold cocked him and like walked out of class. I was like, oh, you did not. Oh, you did not do that. It's amazing. I love hearing that story, though. Oh, my God. That is funny. Okay, this is not... Okay, watch the video. Okay. Mac attack. Moment thug knocks out three men in horrifying bra horrifying brawl. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love that the chicks are all like... takes his shirt off too <laughs> yeah oh my gosh oh oh my gosh he's all like yeah i got more in me i got more in me <laughs> oh he's up one guy's back up for another oh he's oh boy oh damn. And then it cut uh, straight to like Prince William, which is weird. Anyway, <laughs> that's amazing. Thank you for sharing that because I feel like a better person for having watched it. Oh, yeah. Mm. And apparently he was just going crazy. Like, 
I was reading um, like an article about it and they said that he was just like legit, just like wanting to fight people for no reason. Really? Well, I don't know how much we should trust Reddit comments. Yeah, so. that's a good point. Yeah. All right, Danny, I'm going to let you go to bed. I think it's later there than here, but yes. You're right, because you know what? There is a time difference, but still. There is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I I like to go to sleep by 8 p.m. So. Good, so it's getting there. It's getting there. <laughs> yeah, 15 minutes to wind down. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to leave a, a button for this episode? Do you want to put a button on this episode? Sure, sure. What should the button be? Should it just be like, thanks for listening? Thanks for caring if we live or die? Let us know what t shirt, like what merch you'd like. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess all the standard follow us, interact with us, do that kind of stuff. Do all that good stuff. Um, Read my article. Try. You can get on either side of that, that I'm a liberal trader and or uh, (laughs) a condescending snowflake. Happy with either one. All good. (laughs) And kind of missing the point of the article, but that's cool. Uh, uh, It was it was truly amazing. The sense of peace lasted five minutes until i was, I I was laughing this. so hard i was like wow and then, like some people were just like desantis best governor ever like out of nowhere like had nothing to do with the article like anything it's just like i'm like throw it out there toss it out it's like the dude starting a fight at mcdonald's you know like you just gotta get it out just get it out it's cool i can take it you know in a roundabout way you somehow managed to unite liberals and conservatives <laughs> in hatred. <laughs> one does what one can, Danny. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, you're the best. Thank you, and thanks to everyone listening. Look up, look up, Fat Bear Week. <laughs> yeah, Fat Bear. I'd be week. interested to hear what search results one gets for Fat Bear Week. There's a whole website dedicated to it, which I will link in the show notes. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> Danny says toodles, and I'm like, good night, everyone. Until next Bye, time. Bye, everyone. Toodles.